and gentlemen, Team Natty back here again. And today, taking a little stroll before I run. This place is the Allen Creek Trail. It goes through Strawberry Park. Got some nature sounds going on. This is in Columbus, Ohio. Got this little drain thing. Look at that. So natural. So much nature going on here. I've been walking this trail. I just played a soccer game, 11 v 11 adult league and um, feeling it in my toes, feeling it in my feet. Not so much um, fatigued as much as I thought I'd be. Um, they can get scrappy, so, you know, you get pushed down, you get dirty. Um, it's whatever, you know. I We didn't win the game, so a little upset. I'm gonna shake that off. Uh, don't know if I'm gonna keep it up, though. It's kind of lost its luster for me. I'm just not into it as much as I was. Maybe it's because I'm not playing with my friends anymore, um, just playing with a bunch of random people. So I'm out here enjoying this park. Got a lot of uh, people passing by me on bikes and stuff. And I'm gonna go back to my car, I'm not too far away from it. I'm just gonna walk to like warm up and I get a kind of idea where I wanna go. And then I'm gonna grab my running belt. Currently I'm rocking my fanny pack for my camera. And once I go get my running belt and my armband for my phone, I'll be on my way for a run. Uh, still training for this marathon's coming up October 20th actually. Um, wow. Uh, <laughs> time does fly and I don't necessarily know if I'm ready or not. Ran 10 miles at an 8 minute 50 second mile pace the other day with a friend. Um, actually I ran 10 and a half because I didn't count the warm up. I never really do. Um, so ran that, felt pretty good. Uh, I think I can do it, you know, who knows? We'll see what happens. The goal is to not stop, but every, you know, he stopped, I mean, he's really fast and he stopped in four out of five of his marathons. So we'll see what happens. Like I said, uh, that's the goal coming up October 20th. I've got less than a month, so it's time to train, time to run. Yeah, so. Honestly, wish I had someone to just film me running. I like walking up these paths. Oh god, I'm going into the woods. Ah, something cool like that. Who knows? But yeah, you know, back to the car we go. I'm going to. So I'm gonna go on this run. When I get back, I'm gonna have a protein shake. I'm gonna tell you about my favorite protein. I don't think I've ever reviewed it, honestly. Like I've had bunches of it at my house, used all the time. I've never talked about my favorite protein brand or product or whatever so just trying to get back into the swing of things here so let's go what's up guys team Natty back here again now I'm not sure if I've said this yet and if I haven't I can't believe I've gone this long without saying it but there's a reason they call it the gold standard yeah that's right Optum nutrition gold standard 100% whey protein this is my favorite protein this is like this is my standard this is what I go by a um, couple reasons for this okay Reason number one, um, it's been around a really long time. It's trusted, Optum Nutrition's a great brand. I, I love almost all of their products. There's nothing I ever try from on that I don't like. You know, I think that they've uh, they've really got a hold on their stuff and they're pretty uh, transparent about everything. Uh, just also the way this looks, I just, I don't know why, but it's the black and red that just is so eye-catching. Um, when I was first trying out proteins, of course, uh, like everyone else, you know, you start out on the body fortress on like what your older brother gives you uh, Pure protein, I think which is also in my body fortress. So whatever um, and then I got uh, You know sell core something that like my friends might give me six star I'm trying to like go down the list of just cheap proteins that high schoolers use um, And then when I started buying protein for myself, I tried one that was like advanced nutrition I didn't like it at all. I tried the Off Nutrition Platinum, and I loved it. The only thing is it's so expensive. Well, uh, I was in college one day, uh, sitting in class, and I saw actually an advertisement for some sort of campus protein wrap, but I saw this one. Decided to pick it up after trying, um, I think a sample of it, a GNC or something, and I uh, fell in love with it. I mean, just the mixability, uh, and I'll tell you about what I rate a protein on here in a second, but just the way it mixes, the way it tastes, uh, the flavors are always reliable. Um, you can't really go wrong with uh, the Optum Nutrition Gold Standard. There's not a flavor that I've tried yet that I didn't like, um, even the vanilla, and I really don't like vanilla. But let's go down the line. Okay, so 
First of all, let's start off with the nutrition facts on this bad boy. Uh, 120 calories per scoop. Um, this is the 30, or this is 29 servings container. It's a small container I got for Christmas from my dad. Uh, it's still going strong. It doesn't expire until 20, July 2020, so we're good. But 120 calories per serving, okay? 30.4 grams per scoop. You got one gram of fat. 0.5 grams of that saturated fat, zero trans fat, 30 milligrams of cholesterol, 130 milligrams of sodium, three grams of carbs, one gram of that sugar, and 24 grams of protein. So it's a good chunk of protein. It's like, it's not just 20, it's not as high as 30, it's right in the middle there, 24. It's a good serving. At least for 120 calories, two scoops, you get, you know, 48 grams of protein, 240 calories. You really can't beat it, especially if you're trying to use this to replace meals or like if you're in between things like for me at college i would take protein shakes with me because i didn't always get food in i know i've got eight hours of work ahead of my classes and i had uh, the gym after that so really my colleges my college days were really long and this thing this would um, supplement my meals and this would really keep me going especially if i took one into work too all right, we'll just, re I'm just gonna read the label here. The true strength of whey, whey protein isolates, or WPIs as they call them, I've never heard them call that, by the way, are the purest form of whey protein that currently exists. WPIs are costly to use, but rate among the best proteins that money can buy. That's why they're the first ingredient you read on the gold standard 100% whey label. By using WPIs as the primary ingredient, along with premium ultra filter whey protein concentrate, WPC, we're able to pack 24 grams of muscle building protein in every serving. On's attention to detail also extends to mixability. This superior quality powder has been instantized to mix easily using a shaker cup or just a glass and spoon. There's no doubt that this is by sta the standard by which all other whey proteins are measured. And that's totally true in my opinion. I think that when I, when I get another protein, when I try a scoop of something else, in the back of my mind, I'm always comparing it to this protein here. I'm thinking, uh, does this clump up or is it as easy to mix as the gold standard? Does it taste as good as the gold standard? How are the nutritional facts compared to the gold standard? Nearly 79% of the weight is protein. Uh, whey protein isolates is the main ingredient. You got the protein micro fractions from whey protein isolate and ultra filter whey protein concentrate. Over four grams of glutamine and glutamic acid in each serving. Um, so that includes leucine, isoleucine, valine in each serving, the gold standard for protein quality. Yeah, so I love this protein. It tastes great. Uh, my favorite is the double rich chocolate. You cannot go bad with chocolate. It, I use about eight ounces of water, sometimes 12, and just put that in there. I never use milk. I used to use milk. I felt like the only way to drink protein chases with milk. I never use milk anymore. I use water, throw that in there. I usually put the water in first, obviously, so it doesn't get all stuck to the bottom, and just shake it. It doesn't take any amount of, like barely, but I would say less than 30 seconds to shake it up so that it's not clumpy it really doesn't clump you can let it sit there and it would actually dissolve itself but you know mixes really well it's always a smooth drink it still tastes great and has a nice thick and uh nice thickness and richness to it even with water it goes down quick you can add it to a lot of stuff i use this in a lot of cooking it never goes wrong um, we have a bunch of jugs of these because i like them so much so we use them in a lot uh protein pancakes oatmeal everything it always mixes very well and tastes great with them uh, if you're looking to get like chocolate pancakes protein pancakes this one is a go-to it's a must um but all around it's a great protein and by far my favorite so this is a great protein guys this is my favorite protein uh just so in case you wanted to know which one that i prefer or which one i go by um, if you're weird like that, I don't know. That's not really weird. I mean, I guess I, I look, I mean, when I go to people's things, I want to see what stuff they're using. You guys ever want to know what kind of protein I was taking? Uh, if I am taking a protein at that time, because sometimes I just get too lazy, then it's this one. This one's always readily available in my house. Um, I, I can't get enough of it, honestly. So, you guys, it's been fun. Take it easy, stay natty, team natty out.